hello good day i was gonna say good morning but it's not the morning and i don't know when you're watching this so good day <laughs> welcome back to my channel today is going to be a rom-com movie tier list video i talked about this in my recent vlog where i just wanted to talk about the rom-coms that i love the most because i consider myself an expert because i they're my favorite type of movie so i'm just gonna kind of go through i created a whole list i'll put the list down below of like my top movies plus the ones that i rank burn in hell the ranking is going to be here so you can see what i'm ranking everything as i go we're just going to go for it um these are in i think alphabetical order um so we'll just go through that way and i'll tell you like a I guess just talk about it as we go. So the first movie we have is 13 going on 30. Um, so I'm going to give this one would watch but only pay half attention. I like it um, but it's definitely middle of the road. That's my middle category so I'm putting it in the middle. Um, I do like it. I own it. But it wouldn't be my top choice. So there's that. Next we have 10 things I hate about you which has to be one of my favorite rom-coms ever. I love Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles in this movie. They're so good. Um, so perfect for me. Next we have 27 Dresses. This I grew up watching. Um, it was like the only movie I watched growing up. So I have to put this with mostly perfect, some annoying characters, mostly for the nostalgia where I will watch it and enjoy it. Um, but I have seen it so many times that I'm not going to call it perfect because it's been at least like 20 times that I've seen it. Next we have Bend It Like Beckham, um, which I included as a rom-com because there is a romance to it. Um, but some people might not include it as a rom-com. So I'm going to put it as mostly perfect, some annoying characters for that reason. Um, it's a really good movie though if you haven't seen it I feel like it's a little bit underrated but it's got Keira Knightley it's one of her early movies I think it's very good so I highly recommend that next we have Clueless um which ugh, I really want to give it perfect I'm going to it's a good movie I always get a little bit mm, that she ends up with her stepbrother but I love Paul Rudd um in this movie and in everything that he's in and this movie is just timeless it's classic it's perfect so i'm putting it there next we have crazy rich asians um uh cursed but still watch it's it's just not my favorite i've seen it several times um but after the first time i was kind of over it um i would still still watch it but it it would be like if one of my friends wanted to watch it and I would mostly be on my phone or something the whole time. Um, Crazy Stupid Love. This has got to be perfect for me. This is totally got the right balance of romance and comedy. Great combination. You cannot go wrong. So good. There's a good plot twist. It's interesting. It's different. I love it. Perfect. Next we have Date Night, which is another one that's a comedy i'm putting it in cursed but still watch just because this was a movie that i watched this was a car movie for me it was always in my car so i've watched a lot there um it's very funny um the romance is less and uh, i don't know it's just not for me but so cursed but still watch because i'll watch it but again it wouldn't be my first choice Next we have Easy A. This is going to be mostly perfect, some annoying characters. I don't know how else to describe it except for that. I really like it. There's some parts of it that are like, eh, but besides that, it would be a top choice for me. Next we have Friends with Benefits. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one in Would Watch But Only Pay Half Attention. I've seen this one several times recently because it just came out on Netflix. Um, or not just, but recently, and 
I don't know it's good I get kind of annoyed that um Justin Timberlake is the main character in it like why that just felt unnecessary um but it's good next hitch this one is perfect nothing more to be said it's so good it's so funny so cute so sweet how to lose a guy in 10 days I'm going with mostly perfect some annoying characters there's not really an annoying character it's just like it's not top tier for me it's just right below top tier but I still really like it so mostly perfect next just go with it I think this one's perfect so funny Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston a great combo um if you haven't seen it please watch it it's on Netflix right now immediately watch next we have a leap year which for me this is going under perfect I love it Amy Adams um I forget what the main guy's name is I think his first name is Matthew I think uh, anyway I grew up with this movie so sweet and cute there's a lot of like romance tropes that are just like warm my heart um and I could watch it all the time so perfect for me Legally Blonde another one that I'm gonna put as perfect I could watch this every day of the year I mean not every day but I feel like I could watch it a lot I love it girl power but also romance and it's funny it's the complete package love actually um I might be offending some people here but burn in hell I hate love actually I've seen it one time and I wish to never see it again um I don't feel the need to explain myself it's not good that's the end of the story next we have made in manhattan um i'm gonna put this one on would watch but only pay half attention i've seen this one a few times it's good it's cute it has lord voldemort as the love interest so okay can go off versatility um but again like if it was on tv i would like let it be playing and not change it but i wouldn't be like Oh my gosh what's like I want to know so that's that Miss Congeniality and I'm putting this one as Miss Congeniality one the second one would be probably on the same level maybe a little lower but whatever Miss Congeniality the first one we're putting as mostly perfect some annoying characters this one again has the nostalgia factor for me I grew up with this movie I love it Sandra Bullock is so good it's so funny so cute I just I love it so I hope if you haven't seen it you should watch it monster in law this is another Jennifer Lopez movie similar to made in Manhattan I'm putting it right next to the other Jennifer Lopez movie of being would watch but only pay half attention same vibe um, not much else to say except for I would watch it but it wouldn't be my first choice she's the man that's got to be perfect for me love she's the man again grew up watching it it has everything it's a complete package romance it's funny there's like you could watch it with anyone because I feel like guys enjoy it too because it's there's like sports it's soccer um I don't know is that all the guys care about um and yeah so I feel like that's like a good movie anyone I feel like would enjoy that movie um so she's the man next we have Sweet Home Alabama I'm putting this as see I'm going between these two right here I real I do like it and I would watch it I don't know if cursed is the right way to describe it but it's okay I'm putting it as would watch but only pay half attention because I don't think it's on the same level as Crazy Rich Asians and Date Night it's definitely a, a tier above that so Sweet Home Alabama, Reese Witherspoon, super cute, love. And I live in Alabama right now, so it feels fun. Next we have Wedding Planner. This one is going to be mostly perfect, some annoying characters. It's not top tier, but it's close. Um, and it's Jennifer Lopez and Matthew McConaughey. This is a redemption for Jennifer Lopez movies, and I always love Matthew McConaughey. He has two movies on that tier, and I think that's valid. 
Next, the proposal. I'm going perfect. I love the proposal. Again, well, maybe it's not for everyone, but Ryan Reynolds, Sandra Bullock, um, it's a good combo. The storyline is really cute and it has a lot of good romance tropes similar to um, Leap Year, which I love. The Ugly Truth, I'm going Burn in Hell. I did not like this one. Um, Katherine Heigl, uh, it, not for me. So that's all I have to say about that one. Next we have The Wedding Date. Um, I'm going with uh, mostly perfect. It's not top tier, but I have seen it several times and I still enjoy it. I haven't seen it that many times, so maybe that's why it's there and not in a different spot because I haven't watched it too many times where I'm like kind of over it or I haven't watched it enough where I'm like in love with it. So I couldn't really say one way or the other, but it's close to top tier. And last but not least, we have While You Were Sleeping. This is another Sandra Bullock and I'm putting her, where am I putting her? Not there. Perfect. Um, it's like, it's one of those movies that I would classify as like a Christmas movie, but it's not a Chris, like it's set at Christmas time, but it's not a Christmas movie. Um, so it gives you that warm, like cozy feeling of being at Christmas time, but it's not like Santa Claus. Um, it's got a really good romance. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Very sweet and wholesome. It's I think it's rated PG. It's on Disney Plus. Like, great movie to watch with any and all ages. And that was my final movie to rank. I know there's a lot of other rom-coms out there. These were just ones that I kind of thought of that I have seen and that a lot of people talk about. Um, if you have more movies that you think I should watch or rank, leave them down below. I would love to watch any and all rom-coms. As I said, they are my favorite type of movie. So I will do the research that is needed to compile the top tier list. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. I hope that this inspired you to maybe watch some new movies and stay away from love actually um but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye